hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create joist in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us involvement go to the application and conference by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in the search bar type joist you will get this component joist bar select this component and pick the first position and pick the second position to create the joist just like this close the window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redo you can see this is the default joist now you can edit as we require so double click on this joist you will get like this now now we are going to change this profile joist profile l profile so click on here let's take this profile then click on apply okay you can choose any profile as you require currently i'm going to take this profile so click on apply okay click on modify you can see now this profile has changed similarly you can change this bottom card profile also click on here and let's take this profile then click on apply okay click on modify to see the result at here then click on modify you can see like that to change this uh, bar thickness and width let's take here 3 by 16 and click on modify to see the result at here you can see the thickness has changed similarly we are going to change the width also let's take 1 inch 5 by 16 then click on modify to see the result here you can see width also changed now go to the left end tab now you can see you can change this uh, profile seat profile L angle size so click on here let's take this profile then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here like this okay now you can change this length and uh, height and everything from here for example we're going to change the length of this profile just enter here let's take four four and a half inch then click on modify you can see now this length should be four and a half inch similarly you can uh, change the height of this angle it should be at the at this position so now we're going to change the height of this from top of angle to here let's take the view so now we're going to create views before that so select this grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and ok click on ok now we're going to take elevation along grid b so click on here and select this view list and select this b and click on here you can see in this view clearly you can see like this now we need to adjust this length the spacing it sh this angle should be at here at this location so now we're going to change this height you can see top of angle to bottom seat distance here let's take one inch three by four then click on modify select this joist then click on modify you can see now length increased similarly we need to change this height also from this angle to this distance so we need to enter here also one inch three by four then click on modify you can see you will get like this now we, we need to adjust this spacing and this spacing so go to the main tab and here you can see now we need to maintain minimum clearance at here 1 by 16 so 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 we need to maintain here 1 by 8 and if you want to change you can change at here now we're going to adjust the spacing this angle should be at exactly at the surface of here so we need to measure this distance so go to edit and select this measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at here before that we need to activate this option so click on here snap to geometry lines or points then pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here you can see now now we need to enter here 9 by 16 so enter here 9 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now this angles at exactly uh, at the surface of uh, this top angles okay 
next go to the click on this window and select this 3d view now we're going to take elevation along grid 3 so click on window and select this view list and elevation along grid 3 and click on here and close it now go to the left end now you can adjust the spacing from this angle to edge to this angle uh, for example currently we have 8 inch for example we are going to take 10 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the spacing should be 10 inch click on here and set this horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here from pick point not from end here you can see from pick point means the from here to here it should be 10 inch okay, right click on interrupt you can increase this spacing also from this point to this point currently we have here 3 by 4 inch let's take 1 inch and here also we need to take the seat angle also distance 1 inch uh, from the pick point then click on modify to see the result you can see now this should be 1 inch projection from the pick point to here similarly we need to change the these dimensions in this side also so click on this right end click on here profile and select this this profile then click on apply ok now go to elevation on grid b click on 3d we need to go elevation along grid c so click on window and select this view list and select this elevation on grid c click on here now we're going to see the changes at here so let's take here profile l1 this profile then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result you can see now this changed similarly we need to change the height we need to change this adjust the spacing so well, let's take here 1 inch 3 by 4 similarly we need to change here also 1 inch 3 by 4 then click on modify to see the result you can see like this okay now we're going to change this projection go to the window and select this elevation on grid 3 now we're going to change increase the length of it here let's take here one and four and a half inch let's take 4.5 inch then click on modify you can see now length of this seating increased similarly we're going to increase the projection from pick point to end of this angle uh, for example let's take here 3 by 4 inch and we need to change the this seat projection also 3 by 4 then click on modify you can see now it should be 3 by 4 inch similarly we are going to change this distance from pick point to this distance currently we have 8 inch let's take 10 inch then click on modify you can see now this should be 10 inch next go to the main main tab now we can adjust this angle spacing from pick point to edge of this bar for example currently we have this a distance is 8 inch if for example we are going to take 10 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now from pick point to end of this bar should be 10 inch distance similarly you can increase or reduce the bar spacings maximum spacing currently we have the maximum spacing is 4 inch or from one bar to another bar let's take here 4 feet 10 inch then click on modify to see the result at here you can see now the bar spacing should be 4 feet 10 inch similarly you can adjust this clearance also currently we have 1 inch clearance from center of here to this edge distance if you want to increase you can increase from here uh, let's take here 1 inch 1 by 8 then click on modify to see the result you can see now this uh, clearance is increased by 1 by 8 okay, okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse view click on window select this 3d view click on space right click on mouse view you can see just like this okay that's it about how to create 
joist intercular structures if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you